hell? Why is this movie so underrated? I don't know. Kenny Ortega did direct it and he's the same guy who did High School Musical. And it's been out for like 30 years and it's still not getting the recognition. Something's very odd about that. You know which one I'm talking about, right? Newsies. Newsies. It's unfortunate to say that when Newsies came out, it got average, if not really low reviews. But in our honest opinion, we think the movie was great. So what caused it to have such mixed reviews? Well first, let's take a look at the story. In 1899 on the streets of New York City, working boys known as Newsies sell newspapers to survive. Our main character, a 17 year old named Jack Kelly, teaches David and his younger brother Les a thing or two about selling newspapers, or as they like to call it, Papes. However, one day the newspaper publisher Pulitzer decides to raise a district dis this word here, prices. But that is way too expensive for the newsies. They decide to gather all the working boys in New York and rally them together in a strike. And a lot of singing and dancing along the way. I think this is where most of the mixed reviews come into it. The choreography, singing, acting was apparently not very good and a lot of characters had no real reason to be there. So the critics say anyway. That's what they say. And to be honest, I agree with some of that. I don't think all these actors were the next Dancing with the Stars or Triple Threat performers. But I think that was sort of the point. Yeah, it'd be more unrealistic if they were professional dancers. All these boys were supposed to be uneducated, poor boys from the street. So why would they want to be prancing around in Broadway style theatre? Since the story was based on true events, the dancing wasn't supposed to be glamorous jedis and pirouettes. It's not like Billy Elliot where he goes to do his ballet and it's all nice and pretty in that. This was genuine, hardworking boys fighting for their rights through anger dance. And you can see that with every single step, it was just pure anger in their emotions. The Broadway one however has more recognition in the movie and that's probably because there's a couple of character changes, some of the songs were edited or just cut altogether. I'm not gonna say it's better than the movie, I mean Aladdin compared to the Broadway and the movie, they were both good, they had differences but one wasn't better than the other. One of the biggest changes was Jack's love interest. In the movie it was Sarah, David and Les's sister, while in the Broadway version it was a reporter who was changed to be female compared to the movie who was a male. I'm not sure if they did this because people said Sarah and Jack's relationship was not strong in the movie. But once again, I think that's the point. Jack's need and want was to go to Santa Fe, not fall in love. Which makes more sense why it was more of a side story rather than the main focus. You have your goals, but then stuff happens along the way. You fall in love. It also made a lot more sense when he sang about family in the song Santa Fe. Because the whole point was that Jack was supposed to learn that the Newsies and his friends were his family. But in the musical, they cut all that family stuff and the lyrics out just because. So they kind of brushed under the rug the whole character arc he had about family. One thing I did like that they changed the reporter to be a girl in the Broadway version is that when they sang the song King of New York, it was sort of ironic that she was the King of New York. Pacing of the movie was great, which really confused me why people said it dragged. Every scene contributed to some part of the story. There were no scenes that I was like, well, I can zone out of this part. Every moment was crucial. Again, I don't think every moment needed to be an action-y, on-your-toes type of moment. I think that was more realistic, to be honest. And you'll actually notice it in a lot more coming-of-age movies movies recently. Maybe that's why in that time it wasn't as big a success, they weren't used to those coming of age movies. And you know what? That's probably the reason why it didn't do so well. It was just a new kind of movie for the time. People just weren't used to it yet. It may not have been the most successful movie at the time, but I'm at least grateful that they had some faith in the story, that they could bring it from the screen to the stage, and actually bring some recognition to it. So do you think after 30 years Newsies has got the recognition it deserves? Which did you prefer, the movie or stage version? Let us know down in the comments, but until then, see you in our next video. Bye! Bye. Do you make fun of Newsies?